There he is. There's the gun. people welcome back to another video this video is a special video it is day one of the prep series the series is gonna be called road to show we're ten weeks out from now from the local show here and then we're gonna travel on yonder to California and try and get that natty pro card you're gonna piss in a cup flex on stage <laughs> with a bunch of natties one of the shows that I did when I just prep myself I don't talk about it a lot because I didn't look crazy good or do crazy good it was more for like the experience and i was like 18 19 it wasn't anything crazy but that's the show that i competed in and so uh we're coming on back with a few more pounds of muscle the other show is august 19th i believe a little seven day break yeah a little seven day i don't i don't know not about break, break. <laughs> i haven't gotten to that point yet i'm not gonna worry about that yet probably just gonna end up sticking to plan though because i do want a natural pro card i've been building my physique for the past eight years or so they weren't all consistent i would say Say dialed in about four and a half years and that has been game changer progress like a big reason why that happened is because I was trusting the bulks sticking to the plan lifting heavy ass weight and I did switch programming along the way y'all saw I did the power lifting I even did before like turning on the camera and shit I would do like upper lower or I tried the full bodies or all of those different methods of training over the years they have been productive but there's just always been something different about bodybuilding. I grew up watching Dorian Yates, Blood and Guts, fucking locking out 10 plates on leg press and hack squatting and Tom Platt's doing what was like 26 reps with 500 pounds on his back and Mike Menser spitting facts to the generation that just does four by 12s and a bunch of bullshit. It's always been geared toward the classic physique. So I have my own little classic physique arc. And I always watch those training tapes, like the Kevin Lavrone training tapes, and you would get a DVD of their tape and it would literally, it would be like a back day tape. Kevin Lavrone and it would be like, I forgot how much. They'd be at like Best Buy and shit and I would just watch him. I'm excited to make my own little DVD, except you guys don't have to buy it, so it's free. So 191.2 this morning. I am at 2,500 calories. This is breakfast. We got three eggs and eight ounces of orange juice and then some goodies right there. It's just the joint support, multivitamin, uh, organ support and some turmeric. But yeah, I don't like to eat a lot in the morning, so three eggs does me good. Plus there's sodium in there, lots of nutrients, protein, fat. The fat especially keeps me from being hungry during the day. And then, OG is always good. This is pre-workout meal. And then we got chest and biceps. Hot sauce, zero calories, so I'm pouring it on that shit, okay? We had to go stickier. I need the Fitment Industries sponsor. After the gym, gym is priority. We're taking the wheels and we're getting them bad boys put on. Whoa. Essentials. We're just running Enraged. Uh, this is the best flavor of Enraged. Blue Rasin this, banging. That high stem gonna save my life. Deeper into prep. So we're doing two scoops. Whoa. -oh. Code Monkey to save on huge supplements if you want some good old high stim pre-workout to get you going. We got chest and biceps. The plan is the four day split. It is the shoulders, triceps, back, rest, chest, biceps, rest, legs, rest. Plenty of rest. Rest is where you grow, baby. The more recovery you get, the more odds of you PRing, which little PRs over the span of years, Brick by brick, baby. It adds up. We're gonna get in there, chest and biceps. <laughs> I'm gonna start actually fucking around with a, a little warm up, especially getting deeper into press. Some more movements that aren't gonna snap my shit up, control my form the best possible, but kind of like, should I do heavy ass barbell deadlifts four weeks out from my competition and I'm like sub 8% body fat? Probably fucking not. sets warm up on every new exercise and then depending on the rep scheme it's usually six to eight or like eight to ten usually no more than ten but it's a failure so rpe 10 defo 
treat your warm-up sets as your regular sets. I like to think of a three count on the way down. It keeps my muscle under load, zero momentum. That's what you want to think about. Even when you're pressing up, you just want to squeeze the weight up with your chest rather than just press through with your triceps and shoulders. I'm gonna hit another warm-up set and then hopefully I'll be able to rock two plates. We'll see. See, it's a safe way. What a great way to start off a chest day, bro. All right, we got the flex chest press just for like more horizontal pressing. Same deal, three second eccentric. I'm gonna go eight to 10 reps on this one. I like to go higher reps with some, just based off the feel. It don't matter, I'm still hitting failure. I mean, whether it's, I even set the eight to 10, but like I said before, if my body's just working really good that day and I decide to get 12, failure's failure, so. You can just track 12 and go heavier next time, but we'll see. We're gonna warm up, see how it feels. And then top set. I'm hoping to hit like two plates in the 25. darn I wanted that eight time to squeeze the titties we're doing some peg dick I'm gonna rock eight to ten on this another cue that I kind of picked up that I've been using more and I feel like it's gonna help me especially in the offseason cable movements or any fly movement if you go like this do the hug of the tree like reach out with the weight and squeeze your chest but also dip your head back turkey neck your shit like this so you can not only see it but you get a little bit more squeeze I don't know that's been helping me I just want to focus on my chest though because my biceps like to take over uh, same with my triceps just my arms are we're always like more developed than any other muscles so it's mostly why my chest is lacking so got to play catch up now There's been a lot of stuff on science-based lifters. It's a whole meme, like the stigma behind them. Bro, science-based training, in my eyes, I see Mike, Dorian, all the people were busting their ass in the gym because the new studies that are coming out, the hypertrophy curve, especially going to complete muscular failure, significant amount of gains difference between strength training and normal hypertrophy-based training. The curve is fucking, it's unanimous in training to failure's favor. If you don't know Dorian Yates, the advice that Mike Menzer gave him in 1992 gave Dorian direct advice to take his genetics to the maximal limit while science-based training, aka the Arthur Jones method with the training to failure and the high intensity. That's what got Dorian doves and he blew the fuck up in 1993. If you remember the black and white pictures, we'll throw them up but he just like dominated. And you could argue that started the mass monster phase because people just kept starting to get bigger and it was a game changer. Seated cable fly, couple warm up sets. This would be the last chest movement. Same deal as the peg deck. Hug the tree, squeeze, tilt the head back. BB on the belt. Good. Gotta flex every once in a while. <laughs> Wife's like Christmas present or something. Yeah. After Aunt Pro, she's like, here you go. That's wholesome. Like, sweet. <laughs> That's wholesome. I would just want Natty Pro <laughs> right here. That'd be sick. Get it tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> I have BB. <laughs> uh, we got some dumbbell curls. I like to do them seated because they're more strict. 
Plus, I like dumbbell curls, so best of both worlds. These feel so good. You haven't tried seated? Game changer. better than some good old creature curls. Set of eight to 10. Keep this part of your arm on the fucking pad the whole time. Don't do this. Once your shoulder comes up, you're losing gains, okay? Keep your shoulders down. We're gonna finish off with some cable curls. We did all the heavy duty work and we get a nice good old squeeze and contraction. I like just using a straight bar on that too. I might even do like a little, little drop set. We'll see. Skin's getting thinner. Can always be leaner when it comes to competing. We're in a good spot though. I'm glad I did that mini cut. That was a really good move because I still feel good. Not much cravings going on. Activity's so high. 10 weeks out now. I think it's 10 and a half if you're being specific. Feel good. I just have to get better at the posing because don't want to be shaking on stage. I wiped off my sweat, but I was drenched. And that shit is not easy. Plus, I need to come up with a routine. Drop some songs that you want to see me pose to. There can't be swearing though. That's the only bad part. We're going to go drop off the wheels and then get a meal in because we're catabolic. How are you? Yeah. Good. Thank you. Been through a little bit, a yeah. little, little wreck. But the super got wadded up? Yeah. You all right though? Yeah, I was fine. That's I was completely good. relaxed. That's good. No worse than like a, cause I play football, like getting sacked. So. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I was completely relaxed. I did not like. Well, it's that tightening up, right? Yeah. yeah. Like That's getting ready for the impact yeah. then. So I got a uh, Pilot Sport 4S's, cool. and then I got NK, however you say it. I might do the SEMA Blue, if you guys still have it for a wrap, potentially. One with the sparkles in it, like the baby blue with the yeah, pink. Yeah, like the little pink flex yeah. in it. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be hard. Dude, that'd be dope. I if you'll let us, we probably want to get shots of some of the cars up front. Yeah. If you don't yeah. mind. No, of course, dude. M5, 800 horsepower, that's different. I can't. Dude. These things are like multiple millions of dollars. Wow. Something else, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the inside looks like a space shuttle. Holy oh, shit. This was in Fast and Furious, like the, the car. Like when they pulled up and then he ratioed him with the other one. It's one of the three manuals in the world. And it's the only one in the state too. Woo, got it on a fucking bodybuilding vlog. <laughs> <laughs> when you drive this on the road, nobody knows what it is. Like if you don't know what it is, you don't know what it is. It's a unicorn, dude. Nobody sees these things. That's what? It's a field station. <laughs> Previous owner tossed out the master key for the wheels, so. That's how you don't get your wheels stolen. They can't break the window out and take the key and then get yeah. the wheels off, see? You had to go to the Volkswagen and get the key from Carlos, the person that sold us the car, so. Shout out Carlos. And he let us drive the truck back over here so we didn't have to Uber, so. Double shout out, sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Natural auto, not anabolic auto, natty auto.
<laughs> we can totally make stuff with them if we like do car content. We'll just have to get a shipping plug to get the car out there. But I'm trying to do some runs with when this baby stage two with the C7 and the ZL1. Sleeper, you don't know until you know. I'm already beating SS. Mm. Oh, I think these would look sweet with a baby blue wrap on it. Ooh, let's do it. Have a little pink fleck. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Pink Brimbo's on it. I can do that too. <laughs> so we're finally back home. I'm gonna have my post-workout meal, like a Dextro shake. I just throw my post-workout, it's the one with huge, and then I just throw in the- This motherfuckers. So this is the best protein on the market, bro. This tastes gas with milk too. The choco flavor too, if you're more of a chocolate person. But I just mix these two, I just slam it, just cause it's easy to get down, uh, and it's good to just do it right after your workout. Code Monkey on a uh, huge and Helix bottles, okay? To save, link in the description. That is going to be a wrap for the video. First episode of Road to Show. Can't wait to take y'all along my journey, 10 weeks out. We're gonna be releasing every Sunday per usual, but it'll be like 10 weeks out video, nine weeks out, eight weeks out, you feel me? All the way up until show day, and then we're gonna make an epic show day. It's gonna be fucking amazing. Make sure to slap that like button in the ass for me. I appreciate you guys and all the support lately, especially on the other channels and such. But until next time, peace out, baby.